Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Germany Co-op with me, Commissar Roach, and Rival Zone Gaming. Hello! In the last episode, we continued our summer offensive, and now it has turned into a winter offensive. And in doing so, uh, the uh, redu reduction of a pocket in the Caucasus led to a massive shift in power in the south, which allowed for Rival to break out of his uh, almost prison of a front. <laughs> And uh, push out, connecting the, our two fronts into a single front, and then continued the momentum until the point where Rival, in a genius maneuver, was able to pull <laughs> a... Uh, was able to dash straight to Moscow, right behind the main defensive line that the Soviets had put up, and was able to get in there before uh, they were able to defend it. And we are now very close to capitulating out the Soviet Union yeah, very close. Thank you for the genius statement. No, that was nice. Well, I mean, you did it. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even think about it. And you uh, you did it, and uh, yeah, that helped a lot. All right, well... And now it looks like you're going towards Gorky. Well, I just figured you've got the towns, and I've got 10th Army going after this little town here as well, so if we can shut the whole thing down, why not? Keep the momentum, yeah. like you say. Or is it was keep the initiative, they say, in the military. Make the enemy respond to you, not you respond to them. Exactly. I think that's actually something I told you for, uh... For, uh... Uh... uh what am I thinking of? Uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Yes, I think it Make was. The... I think it was in one of our long conversations about that game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So long. <laughs> but they needed to be... So yeah, you've just gotten, keep... you've gotten good. You've gotten good. You're getting close to the end. Yeah, you, you, you haven't you haven't lost too much in the last couple episodes that you've uploaded. So no, I've uh, had a bit of a good run. I've lost a couple of fights here and there, but mainly because the enemy was running away. You had a bit. <laughs> you've had it a bit easy too because you're playing on easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, it was probably too, point, too by ambitious that point in the to... game. For me, I was that uh, that chaos threat bar was about three quarters of the way full, and I was I, I had uh, I had some systems with five open missions in them. Oh no, I can well believe it. Yeah, it uh, it scales pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean I uh, I probably shouldn't have started on normal when I did. I probably should mm -hmm. have started easy and probably had a bit of a play around with it more to begin with. But you live yeah, well. And it's yeah. entertaining. Come on, guys. It is, it is a fun game. It's a fun game. It's a good playthrough. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. I am enjoying it. Close to getting these pockets finished. Come on. Change of plan. Mm. 
I'm going to create another pocket of troops. Okay. Where are you creating it at? Um, you see where I've surged out? Yeah. And just south of the surge. Oh, I see what you're doing. Go for the town, but cut them off in the process. I'm just going to wait for my tanks to catch up with me. Fortunately, I'm moving faster than they can. <laughs> <laughs> so, get first Panzer Army here and cut them, cut them off and crush them. Sounds and I guess it's a, a victory point at the same time. There's two victory points in their impact. Alright guys, go. Oh, thank God. Well, uh, the uh, the pan uh, para armies have some problems, uh, and uh, and the Japanese just saved my uh, saved my butt. Oh, okay. They got uh, there were three pockets, and now it's gone down to just one pocket, uh, because the Japanese were able to connect up with them. <laughs> <laughs> I've redeployed Blue Army up there to help support oh, them because they need it. Okay. How close are we to beating this? They're at 96 of the way towards capitulation. Well, I think there's two victory points. One just out, well, both just outside our lines. So hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, hopefully. Go for the next motorized if you want, or is it uh, something else? Oh no, we wanted oh. uh, aircraft carriers, didn't we? Yeah. Seventy percent increase. One day. Good. We'll get through it quick then. Finished. Um, Great. Do you want the next carrier? Yep. Oh, 119 days. Sorry. Couldn't make it work again. Oh well. Oh no, I'm deeply hurt. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, yeah, I can live with it. <laughs> There it is, mechanized. There we go. Still close. 
Yeah. They're just outside the reach, aren't they? Ninety-eight percent. Uh, yeah, they're reinforcing that line. I can't get through. Push north. Yeah. You got openings on your north side. Yeah, I saw them. There we go. Almost got our paratro paratroopers back into a single line. They had a hard time with that counterattack. There's a lot of Soviets in Finland for some reason. Okay. 99% of the way. One more small city will do it. I'm making a drive at this one little city. Just Go north of Moscow. We almost got this. Got it. I've got a straight shot at it, and I've got a motorized division going right at it. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do it. So close. Eh. No? Huh? You got it. Did I? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, the game's the game's frozen. Give it a second. No! The yes! Soviet Union has capitulated. <laughs> Adolf Hitler has announced that the cowardly Soviet nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The Soviet government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the German Reich is now in control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Comintern continues elsewhere, it's a great victory for all of the Axis. And we just got wow. the pittance of their supplies, which just shows how badly off they were. And there you uh, go. The German Reich now stretches from, well, basically the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Yes, uh, now the only thing left to do is to wait for our allies to finish off the Mongolians and the Sankin. Yes. So that's good. That's... <laughs> oh, oh, wow, my. I just looked at the Atlantic. Yeah, the title <laughs> battle. Wow, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just, uh, yeah, we're yeah, just gonna... I'll, I'll go through and just delete all that now like that, yeah. Yeah, and just delete <laughs> these, because I can't mass delete them anymore, because there's so many of them. That is a lot. No, cancel. I don't want to dispatch anyone. Yes. There we go. I think that's I think that's all of them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my. Um. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a thing. So yeah, they've capitulated. 
it's now just uh, Mongolia is 98% of the way towards capitulation, so they're basically done. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Sing Kang yep. is uh, 45% of the way through. So once they're done, we get a peace conference. Should we go and help out with Sing Kang? Uh, you could send first Pranzer over there, but then again, it's. It, it, I mean, look at the territory. I mean, by the time we get over there, it's probably going to be over. Yeah, uh, good point. Yeah. Let's be honest. Even if we did strategically maneuver yeah. them, they'd still take an absolute ice age to get over there. Yeah, I think the best thing for us to do would be to. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Germany's theater. I'm going to deploy. I'm going to just. Essentially, I'm gonna ma I'm gonna click a whole army and I'm gonna put it in a town in mainland Germany. Okay. And I'm gonna pick a new one every time. You should do the same thing, but put your units and the Norwegian or Swedish units, like uh, basically the South Russian theater and the North Russian theater. Yeah. Uh, put them in France. Gotcha. And then once we once we've got them all deployed, we'll figure out what we're gonna do and we'll reorganize. Okay. So let's we'll just uh, keep the time going forward while we're doing this, and just start deploying. Oh, so you go to Berlin. Oh, strategic redeploy, boys. You can strategically redeploy. I'm not going to ask you to right, so awesome. do this. To walk back home. Yes, walk back to Paris. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got it. Didn't even have a chance to move our troops properly. Okay, so what do we want to do? I think for, I think the first thing we want to do. I mean, we we pretty much agreed on this. Finland yeah. deserves to be a, a country again. Yes, if nothing else, so we can conquer it. Exactly. <laughs> we are going to we are going to we are going to let's see here. We are going to. Satellite Red Finland. Oh, so we will be in control of them. Yeah, we'll be in control of them. They'll be our puppet. Ah, right. Is that like a vassal in Stellaris? Essentially. Excellent. Okay. So we do that. It's, okay. it's basically what Japan's done to China. Okay. <laughs> um. So we took that. Do we want to take a territory? Uh, we want to. I, I guess in the Baltic states, we want to take them as territory for us. Um, I thought we were giving them to someone. Baltic, like the Baltic states. So, like, uh, like these areas. Like, you see where I'm clicking. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'll take these areas because the countries that used to be them is basically, I mean, they're gone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Caucasus. We wanted to give to Italy. We did. Okay. Well, let's let's take territory first. Yeah. So we'll take that. Take Minsk, hard fought. Yeah. Sevastopol. Might get to Sevastopol. I'm not sure. Okay. Take Kiev, hard fought there. Yeah. Those, Leningrad. We'll take Karelia. It's pretty good. Take Novograd and you. Okay, we can't do that. No, can't get my head out of the way. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. So basically, we're pu we're puppeting Red Finland. Mm -hmm. We're taking all that territory in blue to the south of Finland. Right. And then we'll end our turn, and then Japan gets its turn. Okay. So, in turn. Okay. And if we look over to the east, that's what Japan's just taken. Whoa! It's really cheap territory over there, though. So that's why they got so much. They're taking all our territory. We worked hard uh, to not win that. We <laughs> worked hard not to win that. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's take this territory here and Crimea. Then I don't really think we need much else, and we can give, uh, we can give the Caucasus to 
Italy. to uh, Italy. So why don't we do this? Let's. Uh... Okay, so we just took that. And then we're gonna go to Italy. We don't want to give score. We want. Okay, yeah. I'm giving that to Italy. Uh, that look good. Yeah. So they're getting Stalingrad. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, they they did fight for it. Oh, they I'm did, not. They did, they did push way up. They basically they're the reason we have Stalingrad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That no. was just me asking a question. That was all. That was all that was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Actually, it doesn't look like they'll be able to get that. Let's see, how much can we give them? Okay, up to that next turn, we'll have to see. do more. Yep, and end turn. Oh, yeah. Japan, Japan did have a major oh, yeah. part not, of this. They not did, they did arguing that, it's just that we... Works very hard to. Yeah, well, we've the taken the expensive quite a bit. parts. The expensive parts. <laughs> there we go. Give that to Italy. Okay. What about us? Uh, what what else do we want, really? Moscow. Moscow's pretty far out. Okay. From our current border, if you zoom in, it's, it's quite a bit further in. Uh, well, we could take this. Well, no, we actually can't. That's about all we can really do this time. See, just so you know, and everybody uh, looking, if you see our like the, the victory point totals we have on the side, you mm -hmm. see how ours is 899, and the Japanese are 646. Yep. That means we can only spend the difference before we have to pass our turn. All right. So, yeah. So let's... Uh, we gave that to Italy, so let's end the turn now. Okay. And Japan's not going to get the next turn. It's going to be Italy's next turn. But uh, why don't we take... could start liberating smaller countries as buffer states. Okay. Not bad idea. Let's see here. Uh, it actually doesn't look like there's many in the mainland that we could do. So why don't we take some of these territories. Smaller ones, okay. And turn. All right. And why don't we puppet the Soviet Union? So they'll become nice. our puppet, just like the uh, just like the Finnish. Cool. All right, and let's start giving some territory to our puppets. So Finland will get. Well, actually, let's pass so we get some more points. Right. Oh wow, we got some points. There we go. Okay, so Finland will get their former territories back. Yeah. That's good. Then the Soviets. I'll have to wait. Too much? 
Yeah, but too much. Okay, there we go. And turn. Okay, finish got what they needed. Let's pass our turn. Okay. Soviets, they get... Their territory's back. We need a buffer state between us and Japan. Just yep. keep tensions down. Bit to the north. Can't do that. And turn. Okay, pass. There we go. There we go. Nice. I think that's all of it. We'll have to... These areas will have to... There we go. And turn. Oh, we took that. Darn it. Oh, well. What do you mean for us to take that? Oh, well. Oh, well, it's ours now. Yeah. Belongs to us now. Hurrah. And turn, and Sun King, we're going to puppet them. And turn. Okay, and done. Okay, so now it'll rejig all the. Okay. Wow. So there we go. The Russian Empire. <laughs> Such a nice empire. All right. Well, that is the end of this episode, though. Yeah, we, at the we, end of that, we we did all that. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. If you like this, uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below and hit that like button. If you want to help support the channels, uh, consider the subscribe button as well. As well as take a look at the description down below, because there are links to the other person's perspective. So on my uh, video, there's a link to Rivals, and on Rivals, there's a link to mine. As well as in my description, there's also a link to my Discord channel and my Patreon page. Take a look at that. If you have the chance, right, we'll so see you in the next episode. Bye! Bye-bye!